Yo, what up, y'all? It's Quarter Real Estate Guy. Um, and we're talking about building a home from the very basics. Let me say the disclaimer. I am not a builder. Uh, and I do work with builders. I am not a contractor. I am a licensed real estate agent who works with people who have built homes before. So this is very generally speaking, but it is definitely insight to those that want to build and have no idea what to expect or what's going to happen. Okay, so let me just state that first. But when you're building a home, there are a lot of things that go into building a home. Okay, this comes from the creation, the idea, as well as what's tangible, the expense. Okay, and who you need to know uh, in order to get this done. So let's talk about some of the things that you're going to deal with. The cost. First thing you want to do is if you are going outside of like a uh, master plan development builder, like you go into a community like here in Houston, you got in the Katy area, Lake Sabella Terra. If you go out there, they have different uh, different builders within a given community, okay? So all of the houses that you see, uh, though they're maybe in the same community, it's not one builder, it's various builders. If you go out even further in Cyprus, uh, and you go to Town Lake, which is a very nice area, you see different builders. You see their, their offices with their brand name, okay? These are different buildings, custom home builders, uh, and the expense goes on whatever type of luxury you want, uh, but they have their various costs and their various styles and ways of building a home. Then there's custom home builders where you want to just go somewhere, maybe in the country or somewhere in the city, and you want to build a house to your liking, okay? All of these things encompass these basics. Land acquisition, okay? The first thing you have to do is you got to buy the land, okay? You got to be the owner of that property, and depending on where you are in the city, land values are high. You build it in the heights, extremely high. You build in East downtown, high. Third Ward, high. Uh, anything in around the downtown area, land is extremely expensive nowadays. Uh, and that's before you actually get to the building of the home. Just keep that in mind. Contractors. You have a general contractor. You have subcontractors. Okay. General contractor is like the person that oversees everything. And the subcontractors are individual uh, pieces to the puzzle. Painter, plumber, electrician, uh, a floor guy, a window guy, uh, a roof guy. All those are subcontractors that are specific to those different things. Materials, um, what it's going to take to build, okay? Those aren't as expensive when you think about uh, labor costs because you have labor costs, then you have materials costs, all right? Permits, uh, city specific, they got to tell you what you can buy, what you can and cannot do. Uh, they have to send out inspectors, okay? You have inspections. They have to inspect in different phases of the process to make sure everything is up to code with the city, uh, what's allowable. You don't want to go through a situation where you build something and it is not coded right, and then you build a house and then something's wrong and then you have a problem on your hands. Style and design, okay? This is where it can be expensive, okay? To your liking, to your taste, what do you want to build? What do you want in your house? What type of floors do you want? What type of cabinets do you want? What size rooms do you want? Do you want a media room? Do you want a game room? Whatever you want. Do you want a patio? you want a long driveway? Whatever the case may be, style and design adds upgrades depending on who you're dealing with, okay? Surveys. After you have uh, acquired the land, a person comes out and they survey the land, giving you your meets and bounds. They're going to give you where your land is, okay? Where you can build and what is going to be yours. And then miscellaneous costs, things that happen, uh, things that uh, were quoted out to you at the beginning of the deal when you got the job list of what's going, things are going to cost, and then something else comes up, or you may need more materials. Have some miscellaneous. All right. Now phases, site. Prep and foundation. You got to lay the foundation. That's the first thing. You want to build a foundation on something that's sturdy. Foundations you see here in Houston. You see pier and beam. You see slab. Okay. You see that most commonly. Uh, the pier and beam you see in areas that may have flooded. You see in older uh, neighborhoods. You see the pier and beam. Framing. Okay. That's the woodwork that you see when you see the frame of a house. Plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. That's important. Okay. That's important. That stuff, you want to make sure that you're there and you're visualizing as it happens uh, during that phase because once those walls are put up, you can no longer see that. So you want to make sure the person, the subcontractor that has done those individual parts has done it to your liking. Installation, drywall, interior, exterior textures, the siding, um, everything in your house, how you want it. Do you want the, um, the spotted stuff on your wall? Do you want a smooth wall? Everything that you want to your liking is very detailed. Flooring, countertops, paint, landscaping, okay? 
uh, the team, a licensed, ex licensed and experienced GE. That's the general, uh, general contract, not GE. That's supposed to be GC, general contractor. That person is the overseer of the entire project, kind of like a project manager. And they make sure that everything is going according to the plan and they're informing you uh, when they need more money for things to be purchased, would you have draws? And that's another topic. Um, and then you have subcontractors, the lender. If you're not paying all cash to draw money, you gotta have somebody lend you this money. Uh, custom home builders and design centers, okay? If you're going to a, a typical builder, like say for instance, you're going to um, you're going to Kayavadian Homes here in Houston, or you're going to uh, a, a master plan community like Bridgeland or something here in Katy. What you're going to do is you're going to sit with a person uh, that's at a design center. You're going to go over these different things and they're going to tell you what their basics are, their standards are for that house. And then they're going to tell you what your upgrades are and you go from there and they have all these people in place. Nonetheless, you still want to make sure that you're at every single phase of that building of the house. I will be at every single phase of the building of that house when working with me to ensure that you know what's going on and give you a peace of mind about the home that you're building. So it's quarter real estate guy talking about the basics of building your house.